Where stark desert mountains tumble to the blue Pacific, two tough hombres have drawn a line in the sand. Today, Shell's wonderful world of golf travels to the tip of Mexico's Baja Peninsula, a place called El Arco, Land's End. For a showdown between two dangerous players, one a crafty lefty who feels right at home in the desert. The other from Spain, called El Nino. They'll meet in a good old-fashioned shootout next on Shell's wonderful world of golf. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Phil Mickelson, this wonderful left-handed golfer who's been playing so well, and you're a veteran almost on this series now, having played four times. How are you feeling about your game today? Well, I'm feeling a little bit better after losing the first three matches. I came back and ended up winning my last match. Unfortunately, I've got to compete against one of the best young players in the game today, and Sergio Garcia br brings a great excitement and energy level to the game of golf, and I'm, I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to compete against him. What do you both do? And Sergio, this is your first time that you're playing in Shell's wonderful world of golf. You must be very excited to be playing against Phil. Yeah, of course. Of course, I mean, he's a great friend and, and a great player and, uh, you know, it's, it's great to, to have the chance of playing in, in a show, wonderful world of golf and, uh, you know, against a friend like, like Phil and I'm sure it's going to be it's going to be a great match. You know, hopefully we'll see a lot of good shots and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, that's nice. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, Mr. Will uh, Nicholson, who is the chairman of the rules committee at the Masters and has done such a great uh, amount of work for golf. Thank you, Gary. Now, you've got to spin that Morning. coin, don't forget. Morning, Will. You, can, you call it. <laughs> Hit. Hit. Okay, I'll you have the choice of I'll who wants to play. I'll yeah. be happy to lead off. Okay, so let's get on with the game. All right, Guy, let's take a look at this first hole. Well, Jack, the first hole at Carencia is a beautiful starting hole. Downhill, 426 yards long, and this is how it should be on a golf course where it's user-friendly on the first hole. The second shot to a green, very, very fair, but obviously, you must keep the ball on the green and not slice a hole. You can see the ocean in the background. In fact, the first nine holes, most of the holes go downhill, which always lends itself to better golf. Beautiful starting hole. Beautiful indeed, Gary. We're at one of the highest points on this course, and the vistas are absolutely stunning. Phil Mickelson. Well, this one's going right, and more right, and that is in the desert. There it is, deep in the desert. Got to keep the ball to the right-hand side of the fairway as it drops off into severe rough on the left. Now Sergio, re-gripping. Very fluid swing. It's through the ball beautifully. And a perfect drive for El Nino right in the middle of the fairway. Well, this course is a par 72. It was opened in the year 2000. We told you already that it's been designed by Tom Fazio. Course record 66 by our host pro, Bob Gaudet. The format, 18 holes of stroke play. If both players finish with the same score, it will be deemed a tie. The winner will receive $100,000, the runner-up $50,000, a tie, they will split the money. Well, here's Phil Mickelson. What's he got, Gary? Uh, Phil drove it 20 yards in the rough in the desert sand and has come up with a most perfect lie, as good as you'd find in a fairway. And he's hitting an eight iron, breeze right into his face, going downhill. Very fortunate break he had there. Oh, I love the shot. Oh. <laughs> well, we said he loved the desert. So Phil Mickelson starting out fast here. Now Sergio. One three nine. Came with a nine iron. Just a semi punch shot into the wind. You can see I sort of just gave it a punch to keep it a little bit lower. And another good shot. Glenn. 
Phil, that was a nice shot you played in there. You came up with a pretty nice lie, didn't you? I had a perfect lie. It was uh, The ball was sitting up, and I didn't have any interference with my swing. I was very fortunate. Well, and you hit it super. You took advantage of it and hit a beautiful shot. Thank you. You sure did, Gary. Beautiful shot by Mickelson. Now Garcia, first to putt. Green's very slick, 20-foot putt. Pulled it just a tad. Now Mickelson. Phil and his caddy having had a great amount of discussion about this putt, come to the conclusion that's straight. Beautiful putter, beautiful rhythm, beautiful oh, stroke. Sit, sit. Mm. Pushed it just a tad, but he's knocked it four feet by the hole. Darn it, man. These greens are slick. It's the uh, Tough Eagle grass, which is a wonderful grass, hardy, resistant to a lot of disease, and you can get it cut at the same speed that you can get bent to. Now Mickelson faced with this four-footer for par. Yes, safe for you. It's all right, par for Mickelson. Sergio Garcia tapped in for his par, and at the end of one, we're all even. We're back at Carencia. This is the second hole. This is a particularly difficult par three. It's downhill, 253 yards long, wind into the face, pin tucked away right in the right-hand corner, very undulating green, and number two iron. Hang on. Be very happy to get pars here. Gosh, darn it. And that's drifting off. Will it go? No, it stays right on the bank there. Wind into the face. Very difficult pin placement. Do not want to slice the ball here. It'd be absolutely almost unplayable. Number two iron. Long par three when you see these top rows hitting a two iron to a par three. And that's to the right. In the bunker. In the bunker. Gonna hit a provisional, huh? It's in the bunker? Okay. Well, he's lucky to be in the bunker, maybe. Look at this replay. Another foot short, and he'd have been down in the unplayable regions. Both these players have wonderful short games. Two different shots. Sergio out of the trap. Phil off the edge of the green chipping. Lovely touch. What a lovely touch. Still left with about a six foot putt for a parlor. Now Phil. Well, Phil is, Phil is really a very excellent chipper. He's known for this particular shot. And look at this lovely touch. <laughs> this is what you golfers are going to try and do, and that's turn three shots into two round the green. Well, that's what Sergio has to do here. He needs this for par. Do no. So a bogey for El Nino. Phil Mickelson got his par. So at the end of two holes, he has a one-shot lead as we move to the third hole. Third hole is a par four, and both players have hit their tee shots. They both laid up with irons because it's downwind, a wedge shot, playing around 140 yards. Flag placed just over the trap. But I expect these fellows to be putting for a bit here. <coughs> Right on it. Oh, a little bit strong, has about a, about a long putt coming back. This is a brand new golf course and the greens are in magnificent condition, but going down when they'll be harder until they get settled. Wedge shot, 136 yards, straight downwind. When gathering about gathering up a little bit. Same thing, just at the back of the hole, but beautifully played, both of them right over the flag. Two nice shots, and both players two putted for par, and at the end of three holes, Phil Mickelson still enjoys a one-shot lead. 
Phil Mickelson has a one-shot lead as we reach the fourth hole. What's this one like, Gary? Jack, this uh, fourth hole at Carencia, par five, 538 yards, just built around your game, Jack. <laughs> you have to, if you want to reach the green in two, take a gamble, keep it down the left-hand side, and you'll gather speed because it runs down into a flat area where you can reach the green. If you don't, you're going to have great difficulty. The second shot, very, very difficult. Sitting out there perched above this canyon requires a perfect second shot. Very dramatic hole, Gary. Al Mickelson. Oh, no. No, stop. Stop well, turning. Yeah, it's safe, however. He just about made it, but he's there. Oh. Sigh of relief. Think that's up? It's up. Wait, it was... I think that's bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I got up in the way. Now, Sergio. This is such a difficult driving hole. You can gamble as much as you like and cut off. But if you make a mistake, you're in for a double bogey or a bogey. So I've got to keep the ball favoring the right-hand side. Marvelous golf hole. Oh, please. Perfect shot by El Nino. Oh, please. Right here, please. Thank you. And a long, very dramatic hole, isn't it? Right on top of the desert. Now, Phil just didn't make that by very much, did he? But he's on the fairway. Second shot. Catch Sam. Hold on. Down in the bunker. And Phil has been living dangerously in this hole on both of his shots. That one almost went into disappearing land. Did you see if it plugged or not? Now Sergio. Big T shot. Just off the green. Sergio, this is so nice for me to see you and your father together. When I was a young pro traveling around the world, my dad, who was a miner, didn't make much money. He used to travel with me, and it was wonderful to have him with me. And I'm sure he's so proud of you to see you being a champion. And he's also a pro golfer, so he's, you know, when he teaches you something, you know he's going to teach you something that's really in his heart, and it means a lot to you. Yeah, well, that's uh, for sure. I mean, uh, he's, he's a great dad. I mean, he's always, the good thing of having a, a teacher that is your dad is yeah. you know you know that it's uh, he's going to do the best for you. He's never going to be thinking of, well, he's going to win because of that. Absolutely. There's no so worry about money's being paid yeah, and commissions and things. Thing. Not that I've got anything against that, but <laughs> it's wonderful to see that. And this is what we need, and this is what we need in golf. Mothers and daughters playing, fathers and sons playing. So well done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, you're so right, Gary. Father and son, mothers and daughters, family. It's a great game. And now Phil Mickelson, who's been living very dangerously on this hole, Looks like a pretty good lie, though, Gary. When playing bunker shots, a lie does make a considerable difference. This ball slightly on the upslope. Wind is into his face. Not much green, but it's just ideal shot. Ideal oh. shot. <laughs> nice. Nice Only time. perfect. Sergio has a long putt of 50 feet here. Coming up a bit and then down. Just has to lag it as close as possible. Didn't get the result that he deserved to have. He hit a magnificent shot. Keep running, baby. Keep running. Keep running. He oh. liked it for being a little closer, but not bad. Ah, now that I think that it's fast, it's slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, a very nice gallery on hand here, watching these two great professionals. Now Sergio for birdie. Yes. Yeah.
Really deserved a birdie there with the two shots he hit there and possibly to hit two better shots. And after that excellent bunker shot by Mickelson, he too birdied and maintains a one-shot lead. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf. We're on the edge of the deep blue waters of the Sea of Cortez. Very dramatic scenery. And here at Carencia, we have reached the fifth hole. What a wonderful crowd we have for this match today. Just gives you a true example of what Shell has done for golf throughout the world with these series over all these years. Bringing champions into areas where they'd never have the opportunity I've seen them play. That's true, Gary. We have a good gallery here, and they're enjoying it. Good tee shot here by Phil Mickelson. Now, Sergio. into the crowd and bounces off the crowd and into the fairway. Aha. Well, Sergio, after that fortuitous bounce, will go first. 66 yards to go. Wind slightly helping and left to right. Flag 15 foot on the green. Has to nip this ball and stop it very quickly. Go. No, that was a poor shot. That was a very poor shot he hit there. Looked like he hit a little fat, Gary. <laughs> 57 yards to go. Phil plays his shot extremely well. Any time you put that sandwich in his hand, he is devastating. Beautifully played. Oh, the ball took a big bounce forward, but it stopped beautifully on the third bounce. Putting for a birdie. Putting for a birdie indeed. And as we look down at the fifth green, Sergio Garcia two-putted for his par, and now Mickelson for birdie. Full with an eight-footer to go two strokes ahead. You put a wedge in this man's hand and he's dynamite. Or a putter. Look at his smooth stroke. Beautiful birdie. Beautiful birdie. And with that birdie, Phil Mickelson now takes a two-shot lead after five holes of play. And we move ahead to the sixth hole. Gary, let's take a look at it. Jack, the sixth hole, 439 yards long, is dramatic like all of the holes on this golf course. The premium here is to hit this fairway. It is going downhill, but you can see the importance of putting the ball on the fairway. They will then be faced with a short iron of some kind. You have to hit this green because on the right, you can see the ball falls well away from you. And on the left too, Gary, this is a very dangerous hole. Now Mickelson on the tee. Oh no, sit. Gosh, and this ball's darn it. headed left. Oh, and that could be a lot of trouble for Mr. Mickelson. Mm. Maybe an opening here for Sergio. Going a little right. And just off the fairway, but in perfect position for a second shot. Bill Mickelson, on the other hand, in trouble hitting it to the left, which he seems on occasion to have a tendency to do. This was at Pebble Beach. On the final hole, in contention, a driver off the fairway goes left and is swallowed up by Carmel Bay. He didn't win that tournament. But a couple of weeks later, in the playoff at Torrey Pines, again, the driver pushed left. This time, however, Phil won the tournament. So, Gary, let's take a look at Mickelson's swing in slow motion and see if we can find out what the trouble is. Jack, let me tell you why I think that Phil pushed this. 
Nice address position, good takeaway, nice and wide, nice full backswing. But you know, when you have a full backswing like that, you've got to have extremely good tempo. Now, as he starts down, because he went back a little quicker, he doesn't quite catch up with his hands, and he left the club face open, and that's the reason that he pushed it. And he pushed it far and wide. It's a miracle they found it. And another miracle that he may have some kind of a shot. It's not bounce. He's coming towards you. <laughs> yeah, he's just going to try and get it out in the fairway. Got this high wall to carry over. Oh, well out. Well out. Giving him a chance to make a bogey. That could have been an absolute, absolute catastrophe. And now Sergio. Good out, Phil. 171 yards to go downhill. Six iron. Very important shot. If he can get a birdie, he can make a big shot. Very well played. Beautifully played. He just sort of gave it a three quarter chip. Nice spot to be. Nice spot to be. Coming straight up at the hole. Ah, oh, how good was that swing? This is Phil's third shot. 170 yards to go. Seven iron into the wind. Hit it very, very high. And his ball jumps on. And he leaves himself a decent chance for Paul. 30 foot putt for a birdie. Quite a substantial break to the left. Important hole. This could make a, quite a substantial change in the game at the moment. Lucky hit a bit hard. Beautiful putt. Going back, he was going into the grain and gave it a nice firm wrap. This is that? Putt, you're fine, yeah. And that'll be a par for Sergio. And now Nicholson. Looked like he might lose one or two shots here. If he makes this putt, he'll maintain his two shot lead. Oh, that was. That's as good a par as you gave to see. Full remains Thanks. two ahead. Absolutely, Gary. What a turnaround that was. After six holes, Mickelson two under, Sergio even. Welcome back to Carencia. Isn't that a lovely sight? The Sea of Cortez and this golf course. I'm on the seventh tee. Here's Gary Player. Sergio. A strange game, but a great game. Yes, it is. And, uh, well, you just saw it on the last. I mean, Phil didn't hit a good drive, but then he recovered pretty well. I hit a pretty good second shot, I think. Probably flew three feet shorter than what he had to. And uh, and then he hit a great shot, made the putt, and tied the hole. So uh, it's it's that kind of game. That's, that's, the, that's the beauty of the game. That is the beauty of the game. And Phil, two nice birdies and then this great par. What, I, I just love to see a par like that. It's wonderful to see that. Well, thank you. And, and after having made a couple of birdies, I wanted to keep the ball in play to, to put some pressure on Sergio because he's going to make a lot of birdies today. And to hit a drive like that was very disappointing. I certainly got a great break in being able to find it, first of all. But second of all, to have some kind of swing to get the ball back in play. And I had a very hit my third shot and landed right about where Sergio's ball did. But it took a huge bounce forward and gave me a realistic shot at par. So uh, I felt like I stole two shots back there. Just about right, too, Gary. <laughs> Seventh hole, par four. Not the long par four here on this golf course, but a beautiful one. What do you think about it, Gary? A magnificent short par four, highly elevated tee, ocean in the background, narrow fairway. Phil's going with a three wood. It's only a three wood and a sandwich today. Hit the most perfect shot right down the middle. Thanks. It's playing very short. Two iron for Sergio. Very nice swing right down the middle. Thanks. Well, there are two perfect tee shots, Gary, at this short par four. 
199 yards for Sergio. The one thing you do not want to do here is go by this flag. It's a big drop off. Pin in a very, very tricky position. Good luck. Okay. okay, it's turned out, turned out very nicely. Now Mickelson. Now Phil has several choices. He can carry it up there because he knows how to hit it high, or he can skip it in. He's hit a pretty high shot. And he has carried the green. Fabulous. Phil is taking his 60 degree sandwich here because he wants to get it over the slope initially. Tiger Woods would take a five wood and run it up. Most players would take a putter. But this man has perfected this little shot. Spent many hours practicing. Look at that. What a touch. What a touch. Thank you. Well, practice makes perfect, Gary. Par for Phil. Thank you. Thanks. Let's go to another one. Sergio with a 15 foot putt for a birdie. He really needs to make this. Give him a little bit of encouragement to get within one shot. Oh, yes. There we go. Well done. That's livened things up a little bit. A birdie for Sergio, and that cuts the lead now to one shot after seven holes. Sergio Garcia, El Nino, a man with a vivid personality who has captured the imagination of the golfing public. We had a chance to sit down and find out a little bit more about him. Sergio, tell us a little bit about yourself. How old were you when you first started to play golf? Well, I was about three years old. And it all started because of my, my dad and my mom. They work in the golf course, and uh, you know my dad is a professional. So uh, I was just around the golf course every single, I mean, since I was born. Do you have any particular goals to, to, to reach here in golf? You know, I, I just hope to, you know, to play well and uh, be recognized as, as a good golfer, but better than that, as a good person, you know, as a, as a, as a nice person who tries to treat Everybody, everybody good, and hopefully I'll be able to achieve that. You were a great aficionado of football, I think. Why didn't you become a soccer player? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> it, I wanted to. I mm -hmm. wanted to become a, a soccer player because soccer is so big in mm -hmm. Spain. But, uh, you know, I just realized that I was going to have more chances on golf because of my dad being a professional, you know. Mm -hmm. My options were going to be easier. So. Uh, uh, you know, to get in a football team and uh, stuff like that in, in, in Spain, you know, it's pretty hard because there's a lot of kids that, that want to do that. So, uh, you know, I realized that golf was, was going to be a little easier for me to get into tournaments and stuff like that. So you have no regrets of not being a big star with uh, Real Madrid? <laughs> well, uh, no, I mean, uh, I, I really like the, the way my life is. But, uh, you know, I would love to, to be a, a, a nice uh, Real Madrid soccer player. We're back at Carencia at the eighth hole, a lovely par three of 166 yards, and after the birdie at seven, Garcia has the honors. He has cut Mickelson's lead now to one. That was a nice putty hole there. That made a very big difference to the match, huh? A yeah. nice shot here. Yeah, well, I needed, I needed that little putt, and, uh, because it feels like, like it's not going to make it back up, so. That's right. I just have to make something, something come here. Beautiful putty, beautiful putty. That's a good looking Seven iron shot for Phil as well. Oh, and oh, it caught the trap. Yeah. That little breeze just coming across through that valley just caught the trap. Phil's bunker shot coming back into the wind, so we have to stop the ball. Quite a lot of green, no slope. 
Look at this beautiful shot. Oh, it took a lot of run. It bounced a lot more than I thought it would into that wind. He's got a tricky uh, nine-foot putt coming down the hill. Yes, he does, Gary. And here's another chance for Sergio, perhaps, to pick up another stroke. Wind stiffening a little bit. Sergio with a 25-foot putt for a birdie. If he holds this and Phil Mickelson misses, Sergio would go one up, one stroke ahead. Quick change in the game. Very slick. Look at that ball coming down that hill at a rapid pace. Excellent lag. Very smart putt. It was right in the heart if he hit it, but that's a smart putt to hit going down oh, that hill. Man. That was faster than that. Phil has this nine foot putt to remain one shot ahead. Very, very slick down this hill. What a touch this man's Gosh. got, but that ball just turned off at the end. Exciting match. A bogey for Mickelson, a par for Garcia. We're all even after eight holes as we come to the par five ninth. The ninth hole at Carinthia, par five, awfully long, straight downhill, a variation of 150 foot from top to bottom. This first bunker doesn't come into play. Beautiful view of the ocean in the background. Drive, once it hits the ground, is gonna run down that hill and they can reach this green in two, but you've got to hit a good second shot. No hooking or slicing here. Well, both players have hit tremendous tee shots here, and Mickelson will be first to play. These were two magnificent tee shots right down the middle, 254 yards to go, two iron into the wind, cannot miss the green right. If you pitch it on the left side of the green, it'll just break sharply down towards Get the pin. Get going. Get up there. I don't know if that's enough club. Be interesting to see. Yes, what a great shot. Look at this ball. Curve down towards the flag. It'll run to the back of the green and even come back more towards the flag. Look at that ball coming back. <laughs> what a great iron shot Thanks. that was. Thank you. Crowd loves it as much as Phil. Thanks. Sergio's lies slightly downhill. He's taking a two iron. Actually, it might be an advantage. You'll keep the ball a little low. Into the breeze. And that looks awfully good to me. Just depends on the bounce. And it's perfect. They're going to be almost identical shots. Shot there. Both on and two, Garcia will be first for Eagle. Sergio's putt, about 28 feet from the hole. Slight left to right break. All these greens are slick. Magnificent condition. Certainly didn't leave it short. Beautiful try. Excellent try. Excellent try. That's for the end. Green's nice and firm, which the players all like on all tours. Overwatering is the destruction of golf courses. Phil Mickelson with a magnificent second shot. Approximately 12 foot from the hole, putting for an eagle. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, close. Two beautiful strokes and two beautiful birdies, both out in Weird, two under huh? par, which is very, very nice golf in these breezy like conditions. It. Indeed it is, Guy. There they are, 34-34, two under each after nine holes of play. Each player with three birdies and a bogey. Let's go down to Gary Player with our competitors. Well, that was a magnificent second. Uh, you had a two-hand, didn't you? I did. Magnificent second shot there. Looked like you had a good chance for an eagle. Great golf you guys played with these windy conditions. Well, thank you. We both uh, shot 200 par of the front nine. I think that that was a pretty good score, seeing that the wind has been picking up. And the greens, uh, we have to putt very defensive because they are so fast. Mm. Sergio, you were two shots behind and now all square. That's encouraging, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's uh, it's good to to be back there. We were level with, uh, with Phil. I mean, he's playing well. and. 
uh, you know that with the wind and everything, uh, it's not an easy course. I mean, the greens are really firm, are fast, so it's it's not easy to hit it close. And uh, when you hit it, yeah. when you don't hit it very close, it's it's difficult to to go for it. Talking about fast, they tell me you raced against the Michael Jordan at St Andrews <laughs> there, and you beat him. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, '99. I remember at the at the down, at the downhill uh, at the Alfred Downhill Trophy, and. Uh, uh, you know, we, we had a, just a little race on, on the 15th hole, and uh, yeah. I was able to beat him. Well, you got to be pretty quick. I wish my horses could run like <laughs> you. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf from Carencia on the shores of the Sea of Cortez. Even score after nine. I thought the golf was uh, of a high caliber, Jack. You know, it's very windy. All the tees were very highly elevated, shooting downhill with winds coming across. Keep the ball in play is not easy. And the greens are new, course is in great shape though, and they weren't receptive to shots downwind, and I thought two under par was outstanding. Well, the 10th hole is a par five, and both players have already hit their first two shots, and this will be Sergio with his third. 66 yards. Sandwich. Beautifully played. Beautifully played. Oh, oh, lovely shot. What a lovely shot. Well, Sergio seems to be in another gear now. And look at Mickelson. He almost reached the screen in two. Golf getting better. Now, this is interesting. Most golfers would run the shot up. And Phil hits it high off the... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this great shot. What Bingo. a... What a great shot. You what a it. great shot. <laughs> that was exciting for the people. That's exciting for us, Gary. All right, now Mickelson for birdie. Four footer, straight in the hole, uphill. Yes. Beautiful birdie. That was a remarkable shot. Four. Thanks for the assist. Pitch it right up from the edge of the green and stop it like that. That really is some talent. Thanks for the assist there. It's yeah. nice of you guys. Now, Sergio's replaced his ball to where it was before Mickelson's ball hit it. But now he is faced with this putt. He has to make it to keep this match tied for birdie. Oh. Pretty about that. And so after 10 holes, Mickelson goes once more into the lead by one shot over Garcia as we come to the par three 11th hole. And once more, Mickelson has the tee. 200 yards to go downhill, downwind, elevated tee, seven iron. Hit it extremely high, high up in the air, balls going off to the left. That wind got it. Stay there. Stay. And look Sam, like stay up. He's trickled off the green. Well, we just have to say something about that beautiful chip shot you played there. Most people are running up with a 7 9, and you took that lofted club and put it up there with great spin. Uh, I just thought it was a marvelous shot. Well, thank you. There was a little bit of a backstop behind the hole, so I mm. felt if I could fly it past the hole and spin it back, it gave me a greater margin of error. Oh, it was a magnificent birdie. Thank you. There's no question you're the best in the world at that shot today. Well, thank you. I think we'd agree with that, Gary. Now, Sergio Garcia. That one is coming a lot more right to left than one feels from the tee, and he's hit a Get magnificent down. shot. Sit. Sit. Really a beautiful shot. Rode the wind in there absolutely perfectly. Exciting match. Yeah, yeah, we're right here. Long. Gary. Irrespective of where Phil's ball is around the greens, he always takes this lofted club. You've got to have an unbelievable touch to do that. Whereas we strongly recommend for weekend golfers to always run the ball up and very seldom use the lofted club. Look at this little shot. Oh, that grabs so quickly. Contrary to what all the other holes have been doing. Everyone's been running and releasing. And that one, he must have been going straight into the grain. Now Garcia, from just off the green. Sergio's putt off 25 feet, coming downhill very slick, and must not go by the hole because it'll gather speed. The hole's perched right up on a little plateau. 
slow down. Nice touch. What an excellent touch. Mm. These greens are really slick. That will be a par for Sergio. And Phil has got to hold this putt to remain one ahead. Oh, yes. oh what a putt. <laughs> what a putt. That was a very important putt in the match today, I believe. Another great save for Mickelson, who maintains a one-shot lead after 11 holes. We're back at Carencia at the 12th hole. Gary? The 12th hole, a par four, 349 yards long. Nice to have a short par four on a golf course. Always gives great balance. A hole with great choice. It's narrow, you have to stripe it up the middle. You can take an iron off the tee if you like, or you can take that driver. The second shot, short iron, the green is elevated, and the bunkering is absolutely superb. Oh, Phil Mickelson with a one-shot lead on the tee. Taking a driver on this narrow hole and trying to get as close to the green as possible. Whoa. Beautiful drive. Beautiful drive. In the rough a bit, just short of the bunker. Yeah. I think it's just as tough a shot to lay it up and hit it close. The way the, the greens are. Now here's a very interesting situation. With Phil hitting that tremendous tee shot, I honestly feel that he has influenced Sergio's decision to hit a driver. <laughs> oh, and this one finds the right side bunker. Mickelson just short of the bunker on the left. Sergio in it on the right. This to me is the most difficult shot in golf. 50, 60 yards, having to clip it clean and still have some control over the shot. Mm. Oh. Well, the try? most difficult shot in golf without a question. Got to hit it clean. Third shot. Very, very tough shot. Very, very tough shot. I don't care what shot you're playing golf, there's no tougher shot than that. And he's not on the green yet. Here's that sequence again. The second shot, he never quite got it up. And his third shot was almost on the green, but rolled down the hill. So now here he is with his fourth shot. Oh. Nice little recovery shot for Sergio's fourth. I cannot help but feeling that Sergio wanted to go with an iron there, being so narrow, but Phil Mickelson hitting such a good drive influenced him to take a driver. And you've got to trust your own instinct. That lofted shot of fools again. Absolutely incredible. Oh, oh. Look at the touch out of that lousy line. Well, Mickelson with a birdie putt. Phil has the six foot putt to go ahead at least by three shots, even a possible four. Oh, yeah. never some dirty. that shot. I cannot emphasize how well he plays that shot. <coughs> Sergio has to hold this putt. Which remain three behind. Well, that was a good five. Costly hole for Garcia, however. And after 12 holes, Bill Mickelson, three shots ahead. Move to the 13th now. 
Both players have hit their tee shots on this par four, 431 yard hole. Mickelson to hit first. Eight iron, flag, front right. Sit, sit down. Ho! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. That didn't go up the tier, did it? Getting better every moment. Oh, I see it back down, yeah. About 25, 30 feet behind it. It's probably just a stock nine, huh? Beautiful golf hole. Have to position your tee shot. Green, beautifully bunkered. Sits in that hill just absolutely beautifully. Very high shot coming in absolutely beautifully. Nobody clapping at the green. Oh, yes, it's coming back. Coming back a little bit. A little delayed clap. El Nino will have to lead the way. 26 foot from the hole, going straight downhill, very slick, breaking to the right. Rolled it beautifully. Oh, what, a what a good putt, and he needed that. Well, now Mickelson. Phil's putt just a little bit shorter. Going to school on Sergio. He knows it's very slick. And breaking to the right. Oh, stay up, stay up. Look at that ball once it gets to the hole, just glides by. Mickelson would make par, but Sergio with that birdie cuts the lead now to two shots. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf. We're at the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula in Mexico. And this area is called Lover's Beach. We're at Carencia now at the 14th hole. 157 yards downhill, flag tucked on the left just over the bunker. Nine iron. Certainly looks good from here. Oh, it took a little bad kick there. <laughs> Thank you very much. And all the way down there. I think this is just a stock hold right to about 15 feet right and let the, the ridge just take it down to the pin. Do you agree with that? I, I like that if we're feeling hurt. If there's no wind that was inserted, then I think it's off a stop. Just a... Mm -hmm. Mickelson talking with his caddy, Bones Mackay. They seem to have the strategy down pretty well. Well, he hit it right for that ridge, but it just stayed there. Ah, uh, just missed it. Gosh, I thought that might catch the ridge. Now, Sergio, who hit it for the pin and ended up here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not very happy. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Three inches too short. Father Victor looking on. Victor played in the British Senior Open in 2001. Very good player. Mickelson now for birdie. And I uh, would really like to make this because this could give him a minimum of a uh, an extra shot and possibly gain two shots on this hole. Very slick. Just oh, touch the ball. Look at that ball run. Sit. Oh, look at that ball go. Now, Sergio for par, and he really needs this putt. Mm -hmm. 
From there, he would make bogey. Mickelson made par. And after 14 holes, Mickelson lead is back to three shots. As we come now to the 15th hole, and this will be the second shot of Phil Mickelson. And he certainly creamed that. It didn't leave much in the bag with that. Look at this. I get a big bounce for us. Just off the green to the back. He would make par from there. And at the 16th, here is his second shot. Five iron from 197 yards. Another fine iron shot by Mickelson. At the short par four 17th. He had this for a second shot. Great oh, shot. Oh, baby. suck back, back. suck back. Oh. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful iron play by the lefty. And now this putt for birdie. Yeah. Right in the middle. And so after 17 holes of play, Phil Mickelson is five under par and has a four-shot lead over Sergio Garcia. This wonderful golf course at Carencia is the work of the golf course architect Tom Fazio. Often voted the best modern-day architect by his peers, Fazio currently has nine courses on Golf Digest's list of America's 100 greatest golf courses. The designer of over 120 courses across America, Fazio emphasizes the premise that golf courses should reflect the natural beauty of their environments. Included among his designs is Caves Valley in Maryland, site of the 2002 Senior Open, and the canyons at Bighorn in Palm Desert. Amazingly, Carencia is only the second course he has designed outside the United States. As if being in Cabo is not relaxing enough, vacationers and locals alike can board boats like the Kaleidoscope, a 100-foot-long catamaran for a sunset cruise. During this two-hour trip up the Pacific coast, you can get to see one of the area's many whales and enjoy a drink and soak up the last of the day's sun. The grand finale is one of the most memorable golden sunsets you'll ever see. We're back at Carencia at the 18th tee, Phil Mickelson. What a dramatic finishing hole here at Carencia, Jack. Mountains in the background, and the drive's gonna end up just between or just by those bunkers, so you have to be absolutely accurate. Shadows getting longer as the day grows older. Thanks. Safely in the fairway, Garcia. Another good tee ball. Now Mickelson to hit first as Garcia outdrove him here. 174 yards long, seven iron, flag tucked just over the bunkers on the extreme left hand side of the green. Swing indeed. Thanks. Nice, good rhythm, good balance. Thank 
Rhythm and balance. The two necessities, Gary. Now, Garcia. 168. 8-iron. Slightly uphill. No breeze, though. Nice shot as well. Just left of the flag. Well, Sergio ran his birdie putt uh, about 10 feet past the hole. So he has this now for par. Oh. Another bogey for Garcia. Even par 72 on the day. It's been a great day, guy. Jack, it certainly has been a beautiful day. We've had a wonderful gallery. They've enjoyed the birdies that have been made. Contrasts in style of the two golfers. And I'm sure that we'll all come back. And many people that have seen this match will come and play here in the future. I think so, Gary. Mickelson now for birdie. One that got away. But that's a par. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. Enjoy it, man. Thanks a lot.